We're having a mild heat wave over here in Western Washington this week. It's only going to last about three days, but temperatures should reach about 91 degrees. So with that in mind, I wanted to go over 10 different ways that you can stay cool while car camping or living in your car. So the first strategy you can use to stay cool while living in your car is to just get a light colored car. As you can see, I have failed at this, but dark colored cars absorb a lot of sunlight and light colors tend to reflect them. So having a light colored vehicle will keep you a lot cooler in the summer. Strategy number two, which I have been a little bit more successful at is keeping window covers on your car. So these covers here don't allow much light in through these particular windows, but as you can see, I don't have any window coverings for the rest of my windows yet. However, having window covering is super important, especially if you are forced to park in sunlight. The sunlight going through the window and getting absorbed into your dashboard not only ruins your dashboard, but it also will heat up the interior of your car to ridiculous temperatures. So it's really important to have good solid window coverings if you're going to be living in your car or car camping at high temperatures. The next strategy you can use is to use these window coverings and keep the windows rolled down. As you probably cannot really see on video or even in real life, this window is rolled down and is allowing lots of airflow into the back of the car. See, I can put my finger all the way through the window there. So no matter what you do, the sunlight and light outside in general is going to heat up the exterior of your car and it's going to make the surface of your car a lot warmer and warm up the interior of the car. So it's really important to be able to have lots of ventilation to cool down the interior of your car to the same temperature as it is outside. The next step is to park in the shade. So parking in the shade will obviously reduce the amount of sunlight hitting your car and keep it a lot cooler. It also keeps the surrounding air temperatures a lot cooler because none of the surfaces have lots of light hitting them either. The next strategy might seem kind of obvious, but a lot of people actually don't do this. And that is, if you're in a mobile vehicle and you need to cool off, move it somewhere cooler. And the most obvious way to do that is to increase your altitude and get next to a large body of water. Usually temperatures will drop with altitude. It's not always the case, especially around here, we get a lot of temperature inversions. On my way up to this location, I was up at about 2000 feet and the temperature was actually about three degrees warmer than it was down in the valley that I came out with down near sea level. However, large bodies of water like this lake here almost always stay cooler than the air temperature on really hot summer days. Moving next to a large body of water will almost always keep your vehicle a lot cooler. And in fact, once I got next to the lake here, the temperature dropped about five degrees. Before we get to the next strategy for keeping your vehicle cool, I just want to remind you to press that like button right below the video there. So that way this video gets shared with more people and more people means more subscribers. More subscribers mean more adventures. So if you could do that really quick, that would really help out this channel. So the next strategy is to carry plenty of water with you. It's always important to stay hydrated and you can also put it on your skin to help cool off. In my case, I have about four gallons of available water storage, although I'm down to about one gallon. I need to refill later today. Always important to have lots and lots of water on hand. Another strategy that can really help out the power consumption in your car is to use all these blankets that you obviously don't need because it's hot out and use them to wrap up your refrigerator. See, there's my refrigerator. So the reason why you do that is especially if you have something like an Alpi Cool. The Alpi Cools don't really have much insulation in them, so they tend to run a lot of the time and use up tons of power when it's hot out. However, if you wrap up your Alpi Cool with a blanket, that will help insulate it. Some people also use insulating bags for this exact same purpose. Just make sure you leave the vents open. Another really important but often overlooked strategy for staying cool in hot weather when you're car camping is to go outside or go into an air-conditioned building when it's the hottest. This might seem really obvious, but trying to spend time in the interior of your car, which is always going to be hotter than the air temperature outside, it's just going to be hot. And unless you have your engine running and your AC on, it's usually a better idea just to go outside or go into an air-conditioned building and just spend time there. That way you don't have to deal with the high temperatures. In a very similar vein of thinking, it's a good idea when you're planning trips and you're planning on actually going places to plan your driving during the hottest part of the day. So that's because you have your engine running and your AC on, so again, you don't have to deal with the heat. You're going to be nice and air conditioned and cool inside your car. And the final way of dealing with high temperatures when you're living in your car is to simply avoid the high temperatures and look at a weather map, especially in an area like Washington State where we have lots of different geographic features. It's often easy to find a different location that has cooler temperatures. And if there isn't anything in your area, 
maybe it's time to go for a long road trip and find somewhere that's colder. Like I'm sure Prudhoe Bay right now would be a great place to go visit. So in my next video, I'm going on a short road trip. So if you don't want to miss that, be sure to subscribe and we're going to go take a small trip with the Crosstrek and see how it does. So let me know down in the comments below your favorite ways of staying cool when you're living in a vehicle. I'm sure you guys all have really great ideas of how to do this.